Welcome back everybody to another tech tip. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make an attachment to an email. Check it out. If you are new to this channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button. We do a lot of how-to videos, tutorial videos, and videos just like this one. Welcome back everybody. In today's video, like I said, we're gonna show you how to attach an attachment, like a picture or a Word document or something along those lines to your email. Uh, most of them work the same. And when I say most of them, I'm talking like Google, Yahoo, AOL, they all function very similar. They all usually use the same paperclip paper icon and uh, you'll see that here in just a moment. So the provider, the email provider that I'm going to use today is going to be uh, Gmail. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up my browser of choice, which again is Google Chrome. You may open up your Yahoo, you may open up your uh, Firefox browser. Either way, what you're gonna want to do first is navigate and get into your actual inbox for whatever email provider you use. So in this case, like I said, I'm going to go over to Gmail. And uh, if you're not logged in, of course, you wanna put in the information, get logged in. And then once you've got your login into your actual browser itself, or actually into your email itself, what you're gonna to want to do is click on create new email, or if you're again, if you can see you're on Chrome or uh, Google Gmail, you'll want to click on compose. Either way, what you're gonna to want to do is bring up a new message. So you're gonna pretend like we're gonna email or create a new email message. So as you can see, I've clicked on the compose, the new message box has appeared in the bottom right hand corner of the screen and you can see two, you can see subject, then you've got an empty field, but right alongside the bottom here, you're gonna have, uh, you can do the uh, font or formatting options. You've got your attach files, insert files using the drive. So if you use Google Drive and you have files in there that you want to send, you can click on that icon. Uh, you can send and request money via this way, pictures, uh, insert links and then of course you can insert some emojis as well. So the main one that we're going to focus today on is the little paperclip icon. As you can see when you hover over it, it does say attach file. So we're gonna want to attach a file. In this case, I'm gonna go ahead and send it to test at test.com. We're not actually gonna end up sending this email, but we're gonna go ahead and create the email. Self subject, I'm just gonna type in uh, weekend beach photo. And then of course here, if you're familiar with writing emails, this is where you're going to want to write whatever you want is to send somebody. So if you want to tell them about how your weekend at the beach was, this is where you'd tell them that. And then uh, once you've got everything in there, you're gonna come on down to the little paper clip, click on attach files. And then we're gonna to want to navigate to wherever you have that picture saved. So in this case, I do have it saved straight to the desktop. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the beach photo and then I'm going to click open. What that's going to do, as you can see at the bottom, it's going to upload that image to the email itself. It's going to attach it to the email. It does give you the file size and of course the name and what kind of extension it is. In this case, it is a JPEG photo. This again will work for most other providers. Click on the uh, uh, paperclip icon, attach the file. You'll probably get similar results. And then from this point forward, you can go ahead and click the send button. If for any reason you did end up attaching the wrong file, on the right here, you'll have a little X. You can click on the X. That will remove it from the email. And then, of course, if you want to just trash can the or, you know trash the email altogether, you can click on the trash can right there, and that will discard the entire email. And that wraps up this tech tip. If you liked it, thumbs up. If you hated it, thumbs down. Please leave any kind of comment or feedback in the comment section below the video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. We will see you next time. <music>